Instructions to the Psychomotor Skills Candidate for Bleeding Control and Shock Management. This skill is designed to evaluate your ability to control hemorrhage. This is a scenario-based evaluation. As you progress through the scenario, you will be given various signs and symptoms appropriate for the simulated patient's condition. You will be required to manage the simulated patient based on these signs and symptoms. You may use any of the supplies and equipment available in this room. You have 10 minutes to complete this skill. Please take a few moments and familiarize yourself with the equipment before we begin. Do you have any questions? No. You respond to a stabbing and find a 25-year-old male patient. Upon examination, you find a 2-inch stab wound to the inside of the right arm at the antecubital fossa. Bright red blood is spurting from the wound. The scene is safe and the patient is responsive and alert. His airway is open and he is breathing adequately. Do you have any questions? The candidate takes or verbalizes appropriate body substance isolation precautions. The candidate applies direct pressure to the wound. The examiner informs the candidate that the wound continues to bleed. Can I have you hold that right there? The candidate applies a tourniquet. Now I'm going to turn this to tighten it and continue tightening until the bleeding stops. The bleeding has stopped. Okay. The examiner informs the candidate that the patient is exhibiting signs and symptoms of hypoperfusion. The candidate then verbally properly positions the patient, administers high concentration of oxygen, and initiates steps to prevent heat loss from the patient. So at this time I will place him on 15 liters of oxygen via non-rebreather, move him to the shock position, and cover him with warming blankets. The candidate then indicates the need for immediate transportation. I will call for immediate transport off the scene.